In this video, we're going to see how we can insert uh, rows into a particular uh, table that we specified. So we're going to be working with the, uh, the university.db database that we've created uh, two tables for, and we're going to learn the syntax for inserting things into uh, a table. So if I go into here, I can run SQLite 3 on my university.db, run tables, and I have one for a professor and a student. So to insert values into a, uh, to put values into a new row into a particular table, I like to use an insert statement. And the syntax for this, first of all, I need to should probably figure out which columns for stu for student first. So I have student ID, middle name or first name, middle name, last name, GPA, and email. So let's put in uh, let's let's add some students to our uh, university. So the syntax is just insert into and the name of the table, student, and then inside of the parentheses, I can specify uh, I can specify which columns I want to uh, insert into specifically. And so just one quick thing about this primary key is the neat thing about primary key is if we insert into all of the columns except for the the primary key, it will automatically assign us the next, it'll automatically assign us a unique uh, available ID. So, so the a unique, a unique uh, integer that uh, doesn't, or it hasn't already been assigned. So uh, in, in practice, uh, so a good thing to do would be to uh, insert into first name, middle name, last name, GPA, and, and email, and uh, SQLite will automatically give us a unique uh, student uh, ID. So every time we do an insert into this, we just if we insert into all the columns that are that are not the primary key, then SQLite can because it's an integer primary key, SQLite can uh, automatically give us a unique uh, integer value for free. So that's something that we're going to do. So I'll say insert into student first name. We'll get we'll not we won't put in the, the middle name. We'll just have it uh, leave it as null. I'll say insert into student first name, uh, last name. A GPA email, so that's all the columns that I want to insert into, and then I have to have values uh, of for each of those uh, for each of those columns. So I'm going to say values, and then inside of these parentheses are correspond to which of these I want to go into the columns, and so uh, and they're they're in the order of which you specify the columns. So uh, for first name, we'll put my name. For last name, we'll put my name here. Uh, for GPA. I've just enrolled. I have a 4.0 perfect uh, HP on a 4.0 scale. Let's suppose, uh, and then my university email will be something uh, generic. Dot or yeah, dot at university dot edu. And I can end this with a, a semicolon. So I can do that, and now I have uh, inserted a row into my student table. So I can check that. Um, I can do a select. Actually, actually, because they're null values, I can say null value null, so we can see them clearly. Uh, and I can say select star from student, and we can see that I've been I have been uh, added to the student uh, column. And notice that by the way, my because uh, I didn't specify a primary key for the integer, I've just automatically assigned it of a one. And then every time I do another insert into where I don't specify student ID, it will automatically just increment this count. So um, here's first name, and then there is a null middle name value, and a last name, GPA, and university email. So I've been successfully I've been successfully put into this uh, put into this put into the uh, the table here into the database. So uh, now, as what I'm going to leave as a challenge is to uh, for you guys, I want you to put in uh, another student and just be you know something else. That you want using the same insert into uh, syntax here, and then we're, we'll do a select chart to see. So just think of something to enter into. It could be your name. Um, we can just use a fake made up uh, name to put into uh, to put into the student uh, column. So why don't you just do that, and uh, we'll be uh, right back. Okay, so we'll just put in another. Uh, we'll just put in something else into this database. So just insert into student same. First name, last name, GPA email values. So we'll just make something up. Uh, John Doe, uh, same 4.0. And then we'll just use the same uh, template, uh, jdoe at university 
dot university dot du and then that'll insert another so again I can run the same uh, select star and you see I have uh, another student here so now we can add so let's add uh, let's just add some data into a uh, professor so insert into professor and actually first let me look at the schema for professor so schema professor so I have an I need employee ID first name last name and email and just like with the student ID, if I just don't give it an employee ID, it will automatically assign it. So notice that this is assigned to. Um, I can do this for the same uh, for professors, right? So insert into professor, first name, last name, email, values, Lou Richard Feynman, R. Feynman at university.edu, and then we'll insert uh, another one here uh, as well. We'll insert uh, Albert Einstein. at uh, university.edu. So now let's do a select star from professor and see that we have uh, two entries in our professor table and they've been assigned unique IDs. So that's how we can uh, insert rows into a into a table. We just say insert into the name of the table and in uh, parentheses the columns that we want to insert into and then values and then the corresponding uh, values for the columns. And remember if we don't put anything into the uh, primary key, the integer primary key will be automatically assigned a unique value. So that's really nice. So that's how we can insert values into a SQLite table.